Okay, in this video we're going to look at equivalent fractions. So here we've got two fractions that are equivalent to each other. We've got two quarters and a half. Well, if you imagine two quarters of something, well that's the same as a half of it. So these two fractions are equivalent. Now whenever you've got fractions, you can times or divide the top number and the bottom number by the same number and you'll get an equivalent fraction. So for instance, if you had 5 over 7, if you times both of these by 3, you would get 15 over 21. And these two fractions are equivalent to each other. Okay. Likewise, if you had something like uh, 25 over 30, okay, you could divide both of these by 5, and you would get 5 over 6. This actually is the same as simplifying, and if you watch the video on simplifying, you'll see more on this. Okay. Uh, but the key thing with equivalent fractions is if you times the top number by a certain number, you might, and you times the bottom number by the same number, you will get an equivalent fraction. Let's look at some exam questions. Okay, so here's two exam questions, uh, or well, it's one exam question, but with two parts. And it's got 5 sixths and equals blank over 18. And you've got to work out what this number here is. So to get from 6 to 18, you would times by 3. So you times the top number by 3 as well. And 5 times 3 would be 15. To work out the fact that you're timesing by 3, either know your times tables, well 6 times 3 is 18, or do 18 divided by 6 and you get 3, so it would tell you what you would need the times by. So if you times the bottom by 3, you must times the top by 3, and 5 times 3 is 15. Let's look at the next one. So the next one, you've got 6 over 5 equals 30 over blank, and you've got to work out what the denominator would be. So to get from 6 to 30, to get from 6 to 30, you would times by 5. 6 times 5 is 30. So you need to times the bottom number by 5 as well. And 5 times 5 is 25. And that's it, we've worked it out. So 5 6 is the same as 15 18 and 6 fifths is the same as 30 20 fifths. Okay, and here's another exam question. We've got which two of these fractions are equivalent to a quarter? And the options are 2 eighths, 5 16 6 24 ths and 11 40 ths. So, uh, first of all, let's look at the two eighths. Well, if I take my quarter and I times the top number by two and times the bottom number by two, I'd get two over eight. So that is one of the equivalent fractions straight away. Okay. Uh, the next one, if you get a quarter and let's see, you're trying to get five sixteenths. Well, to get from one to five, you would times by five. So if you times by five, and if you times the bottom number by five, you would get one times five is five, and four times five is twenty. Oh, well, that's not that fraction, so, th so that wouldn't work, okay? Uh, the reason I times by 5 was to get from the 1 to the 5 on the top line. I need the times by 5, so times the bottom number by 5, but it don't get 16. So that's not an equivalent fraction. Next one, 6 over 24. Well, if I've got a quarter, uh, to get the 6 on the top line, I would need to times by 6 and times the bottom number by 6 as well. 1 times 6 is 6, and 4 times 6 is 24. Oh, so that is an equivalent fraction. I suppose we're finished because it says which two of these fractions are equivalent to a quarter. Let's just check the last one. 11 over 40. Well, even just seeing this, to get, um, if I times the top one by 10 and the bottom one by 10, I would get 10 over 40. So I can see that that just wouldn't work anyway. Okay? Um, but if you wanted to have a look at 11, uh, if you had a quarter, to get to 11 um, on the top line, you need the times by 11 and times by 11. Well, that would be 11 over 44, so that wouldn't work. Okay, the next part, write down another fraction which, that is, sorry, write down another fraction which is equivalent to two thirds. So two thirds, well really, as long as you times the top line and the bottom line by the same number, you'll get an equivalent fraction. Uh, you could times it by, uh, you could double them and get 4 over 6. You could times by 10, that's what I'm actually going to do just for fun. So times by 10, 2 times 10 is 20, and 3 times 10 is 30. So 2 thirds is the same as 20 thirtieths. So the answer, my answer that I'm given, is 20 thirtieths. There's actually loads of different answers that you could do this, but infinitely many, I suppose. Okay, and that's it.